middle roll back, Steve. Hey, Coach, uh, curious. You've had a lot of guys lose the black stripe. Just can you put a number or some names with some true freshmen? I know you have four games with the red shirt rule that you can mix them in, but if the game goes according to how you feel it might go, you might play in this game. Uh, everybody's got to be ready to roll uh, because, like you said, the four game uh, rule, we want everybody to have an opportunity to play. So, um, you know, they all have to be ready to roll. Uh, some of the guys who have been here a little longer, um, talking on offense, you know, uh, Garrett and Jameson, um, you know, we've got to be ready to roll. They'll probably find their, their, find their way on the field at some point. Uh, you know, Harry Miller is another guy that, as a freshman, could get on the field. The two running backs on defense, you know, all those linebackers, Stover and Young. Um, so they all got to be ready to roll. Uh, you know, some are further along than others, but but those are some of the names. Zach Harrison, is he a definite possibility? Yeah, Zach will play for sure. Okay. Yep. And folks, if we can, unless it's something really that really needs a follow up, let's try to stay one question on Thursdays just so we can get as many guys in. Second, first row right, Austin. Awesome. Ryan, I think offensive coordinators always want to go for a force and maybe, I don't know, anything. As a head coach, for your perspective, change on that would be as aggressive as you might have been in the past? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, never, never, you know, putting uh, the team at, at risk. Uh, always, you know, really smart about that. Not letting your emotions get the best of you there, but uh, we're going to be aggressive and we want to be aggressive. And it, it all depends on the situation, you know, when it is in the game, the flow of the game. You know, is it a high scoring game? You know, how is the defense playing? The, you know, situation, the, you know, the weather, all those things come into play when you make those decisions. And uh, a lot of those decisions have been made before you go into the game. And so trying to take your emotion out of it is the best thing to do. Do you consider yourself like a gambler or aggressive when it comes to that? Or how do you do yourself? Your no, I mean, I, I think that, you know, we want to make sure that we're always aggressive. And, and that's always been my mindset. But at the same time, we can't, uh, we can't force anything. Uh, front row left. Mitch? All right, how much um, can we expect to see Justin taking snaps from directly from center instead of uh, from the shotgun. And what were the, was that a difficult transition for other than him in the center, other people on the offense? Is that, did that take an adjustment? For uh, it's something we looked at in, in the off season, but uh, you know, our offense is gonna be, you know, very similar to what you saw last year. And uh, you know, every, every year you experiment with a few things, but for the most part, we'll be in the shotgun. Second row left, Ari. Ryan, uh, Garrett Wilson, you threw in there as a return guy. Is there a reason for, is he just a guy that has to be on the field? How's he progressing? You know, what's the update with him? So yeah, his, uh, you know, like you said, he's a guy that, you know, we want to get on the field. He's a, he's a playmaker. His, his ball skills are very good. And being a returner, you know, there's, a, there's a lot that comes with that. Uh, you, know, you have to have tracking. You have to have depth perception. You have to have good hands and timing and those type of things. I think he has those. Uh, but again, you don't know with a return turn until you get him into the game. And, you uh, you know, based on how everything shakes out and, and you know, how things go on Saturday, we'd like to get him a couple of returns. Far left, Lori. Coach, you talked about how your car ride is the place where you seek peace and seek answers. We're approaching game time very quickly. I'm wondering what occupied your mind in your last car ride. Uh, it was more about with the staff. Uh, you know, when you get into a Thursday, Friday, it becomes about uh, your meeting time and being organized in meetings. Your tips, your tests, uh, the way you're presenting information. I think uh, and we talked about it today in the meeting. Sometimes you can give too much information this time of year because you're going into a game where um, you know, you're trying to cover all your bases, and sometimes you can paralyze players. So we don't want to do that. Uh, we want to be nice and clean. We want to be uh, clear, concise, and direct in our meetings. Do a good job and let them play fast. Second row left, Bill. Ryan, uh, you mentioned the other day that you know maybe you're not quite sure what to expect from the defense as the new coordinator. Mike worked with this guy at Oklahoma State. I'm just wondering if you relied on him any extra this week with his background and relationship with the play. Yeah, a little bit, but uh, you know he's changed even even the last couple of years, and, and I know that there's other guys on that staff that, that are going to have influence on what he's doing. Uh, but yeah, you know, talk to him a little bit about you know his experience, uh, you know, at, o at Oklahoma State. But I, I think they changed. You know, just looking at the way that they view some of their three down stuff and. Uh, you know, last year at Charlotte, but then also I know there's going to be there's going to be an influence here from the other coaches there. So uh, we're going to have to kind of adapt once we get into the game. Front row right, Bill. You were asked about kick returners and punt returners on the radio show. Who will be your top kick returners and punt returners? Uh, we have got a bunch of guys out there, right? You know, that they'll be kind of ready to roll. Uh, you know, with Demario and, and KJ and uh, you know Garrett will be in the mix right there. Um, so you know, we'll, we'll kind of roll those guys. We'll play with a little bit of depth and. And then we'll kind of see, you know, as the game goes on, who's got the hot hand. Uh, front row left, Doug. 
Is Tough your hunt protector? He's one of them. How about gunners? Yeah, we, again, we're going to roll gunners. You know, Chris will be out there and Jeff will be out there, but we, you know, we have a bunch of guys that, that'll play gunner. Uh, but that's a position that was awesome last year. You know, they were they were really good. You know, Jeff and Chris and those guys have some experience doing that, but they, those two guys got to step up for us. And Jeff, we, this is all one question. The, <laughs> as much as we all talk about the importance of special teams, just are there guy, are there a couple guys maybe on kick coverage or other parts of special teams who have really like, hey, they're going to be core special teams guys, whether they're young guys or back. A lot of our special teams guys are back. You think about you know the guys who have played, and so when you, when you take a look at the back end in terms of skill with safeties and, and corners and those kind of guys, they're kind of all back. So those guys played last year with Isaiah Pryor and those type of guys. The linebackers, same thing. Tight ends, same thing. You know, we didn't really lose a lot of those guys, and those those would make up your special teams. Um, you know, there's still some young guys like Craig Young and those guys who want to make a make an impact on special teams. But uh, when you look at our, our kickoff or kickoff return, punt punt return. From last year, most of those guys are back, so they're experienced, and I think Matt's done a really good job of teaching. He's a great teacher, and embrace that. But uh, we got to pick up where we left off last year. Second row, right, Tony. Ryan, as you mentioned, Zach Harrison. We know he's an incredible athlete, and every step of the way, he's stood out. Be it winter workouts, spring, and it's not just because he's a good athlete. Why is he uh, going to play on Saturday? What makes him more? I think the defensive bend, the end position is, is, is changing um, every five years, you know, and the longer body types, they almost look like big basketball players now, and, and um, you know, he has that body type, he has the athleticism, but the thing that surprised us, surprised us when he got here is just really how mature he was in his approach. Uh, played tough, practiced tough, practiced hard, had a very mature approach about him, and so I think his ceiling is through the roof, and now he's just got to get some experience. Third row left, Dan. Ryan, as you get each day closer to the game, does the reality start to hit you a little more that, hey, I'm really Ohio State's head coach and I'm about to do this for the first time? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Um, but, you know, again, you, you you go on a journey with a bunch of guys, a bunch of coaches, a staff members, and then players, and it's fun. Because when you go lock arms together and go play somebody, it's all the work you put in up to, that, up to that point. And if you trust the training, if you trust everything you've done in the off season, if you trust everything you've done in preseason, if you trust all the preparation you've done in meetings, then you have confidence and you can go play with, with speed and toughness because it all goes back to how you train. Because once you get to a game, you're going to fall back to the level of your training. And so we have to have confidence in that, and we will. Front row middle, Dave. Ryan, what is your vision in terms of how the tight ends will be used in your offense? Do you think it will be similar to the last couple of years, or do you want to get them maybe perhaps more involved in catching passes? Yeah, it would be very similar to the way it was last year. Um, you know, but I think they're just a year older, a year more mature. And you know, we have some really good wideouts, so we want to get those guys on the field. Um, but but that's that's a strength for us because of the experience of that group, and uh, but we'll need all of those guys. Front row middle, James. Uh, what have you seen from Thayer Bunker returning from injury, and how important is he to this offense? Now he's really important because uh, he's one of the returning guys up front. You know the rest of those guys. Uh, you know Brandon played a little bit, but he's not a returning starter. He's really the only returning starter we have up there. So his experience is critical, especially being a left tackle. We've done a good job in preseason. He's ready to play. And final question, front row right, Tim. Debo, you are the only undefeated coach in major college football. <laughs> did you know that? I did not. At this point. That's not my question. Uh, my question is, oh, preseason camp, who, give me a name of one guy that you've seen rise. Could be a returning player who's suddenly gotten in stuff that you're excited about seeing play on Saturday. Or maybe a couple. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to see J.K. run. I, I want to see that. You know, I, I think his approach and his demeanor – after splitting, uh, you know, reps with Mike, we talked about how he's kind of looking for home runs. I want to see him run with his pads down. Uh, I'm really looking to see the secondary, though. I really want to see these guys. I mean, I just uh, we go against them every day, and I just say to myself, uh, it's hard to throw against these guys. I mean, they're they're contesting every throw. Uh, they do a really good job, and I just can't wait to see what these guys look like on Saturday. Is Proctor a starter? Or what do you expect from Proctor? So again, we, we just kind of look at it like, is he starting potential? You know, does, does he have the ability to play? And the answer is yes. Uh, Jordan will, will start, but but Josh will play as well. Great, Coach. Thank you very much. Thanks.